So the China Cat um, basically is, you know, here's the G. And what I've noticed a lot in playing a lot of songs is Jerry kind of comes in and he says, I'm the leader and I'm going to set the, the speed of the song. So, you know, in Ramble and Rose. And Bobby then comes in with the beautiful stuff around it. Love each other, Jerry takes the G and goes. So in the China Cat, which is sort of the, the grandfather of all these things, is just this G. So I'm taking the three, the three and the five on the sixth and fourth string. So it's right. So um, he's outlining the G. So, and those two notes have a real preeminence while the other ones I have you know a little bit slightly less weighted in the middle so it's like and he wants to get into a nice so that's what he's doing he's setting that that very straightforward rhythmic thing that Bobby can work around so the first pattern is and then working from the uh, third fret, you know, this, basically we're going to always be on these, these three and fives here, so it's, different back patterns. The first pattern is always the same. Three, five, three, five, three. I'm kind of chromaticing up, up there, but it's and ends on this uh, fourth string. Whereas the second pattern always ends on the fifth string, so it's So the difference between the, the second and the fourth ones is one goes kind of, you know, really making a whereas the other one goes it just goes one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm, I'm saying the, the rhythm is the one, two, three, one, two, three, because it's, if we're calling the frets, it'd be three, five, three, three, five, three. And that's just the same pattern twice. So, um, the, um, uh, Seth Fleischman, in his great Grateful Guitar Lessons, points out that some of the 80s things has this nice walk up this. But of course, Jerry didn't do a and then move his hand. He just glided that one finger up. So, um, just to give a
give a shout out to Seth for a second. What he suggests is that the, the get the rhythm right for the Jerry part. You do a you do a so it's a bump bump bump. So, so there's a really three little hits on the E string. So it's a so if you start learning that way what eventually happens is, is they'll start getting a little bit more ghosted So eventually you can just go and have the right timing without having to have all that uh, structure into it. But that's, you know, you get the feeling for it. Okay, so here's the G. So G and F is what the, strictly speaking, it is. I always throw the, the C in there for timing, so I go. So now there's a, a, a little... Uh, there's a little uh, riff there that happens while well, it's still in the G. So it's so you finish thing like a dream, like wind. Then it goes to the D. So now it's going to pedal back forth the D. Cat peeking through the legs, bandana like a I chest like a dime, I might have a leaf of all colors, plays a golden string for a two double E waterfall. So anyway, um, after hanging on the G, it always goes that B. And then the first time around, it just goes. The second time it goes. So it's the same thing we had with the G F C. Only now we're doing E D A, right? So if we did up here, it would be the same pattern, but higher up. Now, just like on the G, how it hung out in the G for the, you know, the little. This one resolves to the B. It's really the same thing, but just up higher. So the first one is the G, C, E, G, F, C, and it goes to the D, right? And this is the E, D, A, and it goes to the to the B. So, um, so let me just sing it so you can get the feeling. It's going to the D. 
Just I'm um, starting on the 12, 15, 17 fret and bending up. So again, it's one of these two fingers. And I'm just, you know, going down to the 14th, so. point we're in the D and the song never goes away from here because now we're staying on the D to get into the rider so it's you know it gets us when we're at this parts to that. that There's some things about that change that are kind of fun, but we're ready at 14 minutes, and I've mostly just strummed and tried to give the sense of the timing. Because I think with these easier songs, um, it, people get lost in the timing. Uh, you know, they, it's easy to think of, how do I do the, you know... You know, the, the riffs become... Uh, what people focus on, but just the simple One of you requested a China Cat uh, lesson, and um, hopefully it's of use. <laughs> 